This is Emmy. Emmy has been grinding Rocket League since 2016. That's now seven years of trying to get Grand Champ, yet she is hard stuck platinum. She's had to watch her friends surpass her as they've all reached Grand Champ, leaving her in the dust. Emmy has been coached before, but was deemed unteachable and unfixable. Our goal is to change that. Welcome to Emmy's journey to Grand Champion. The air dribble is much easier to learn than you might think, and in 47 minutes from now, Emmy will hit her first decent air dribble. We are now in the diamond ranks, and in my opinion, being able to air dribble will help us move towards champ much quicker. Not only that, but working on air dribbles and free play will greatly increase Emmy's overall car control and aerial proficiency. According to our grand grand champ game plan, Emmy's aerials need to get better anyways, so this is the perfect timing to learn such an iconic mechanic of Rocket League. If you're someone who needs help hitting air dribbles, this video is perfect for you since you you might be making the same mistakes that Emmy will. Emmy doesn't know that I want to work on air dribbles, so let's go ahead and tell her. I want to I want to see you do an air dribble. That is so funny. Okay. She sounds like she's not capable, but I know we got this. By the way, I'm going to only lightly edit this session because I want you all to see every step in full detail, especially the moments where she's making mistakes and we correct them. Go ahead and watch my screen. I'm going to break this down into three easy steps. I'm just going to say them real quick. It, it, you've probably heard of it before, but obviously step one is set up. So there's a lot that goes uh -huh. in the setup and we'll talk about that. Step two is the first touch off the wall. And then step three is all the rest, which is just flying the ball into net. Uh -huh. It's three steps. Literally, it, it's once you perfect all three, you won't mess it up. Like this I can't get last step part, two, though. <laughs> I, trust me, trust me, trust me. It's going to be easy. I'm going to make sure you, you get it. Um, let me just quickly explain step one and I want and then we'll I'll have you do it because before you Obviously, before you go into step two, step one needs to be, in my opinion, perfected. You can't be getting it wrong. Otherwise, it's a waste of time. So we're going to be starting uh -huh. the air dribble about midfield, just in the beginning. And if that's the case, the angle, you see how my car is positioned right now to the wall, 90 degrees, like perpendicular to the, the wall. This okay. is a little bit turned away from it, right? So it's a little bit forward towards blue if we're scoring on blue. Mm -hmm. I just want you to lock this angle into your head because this is the this is the golden angle. This is the angle that the the air dribbler pros don't tell you about. This is what your car needs to look like. So when you move the ball on this angle, it's just going to be looking like this. That's literally the first step one is just move it at that angle. Step one is simple. If you can't get the ball rolling on this angle, don't even try to learn the air dribble. Each step has to be in place before you go for the big move. But let's see if Emmy can handle step one. So go ahead and like grab some boost, just kind of push it into the center and then uh, kind of take your time and set this up. I don't want you to hurry it. Probably a little bit less, yeah, perfect. Yeah, you got it. About that, give or take. And then you'll drive at the pretty, pretty much the same way it's rolling. Good, really good. That's it. Just do that like two more times, just so you get like a feel for it. You can set it, the ball can start here and then go to the other wall. <laughs> <laughs> but it's okay. See, oh. see how it's already kind of oh going God. towards oh the net? Yeah, Stop. it's no way. weird, right? All right, do it one more time. This is how much space I want you to start with to begin with. Perfect. And just get it rolling. And then, yeah, just now you're going to follow it. You're just going to follow the roll right behind it. Good. All right. That's literally step one. Okay? okay, I think I think you get it. It looks like you got it. That's uh -huh. it's simple. Go ahead and watch my screen again. So again, if we're trying to score towards blue, that's the angle. Literally, literally step two of the setup. If we're to break it down. Is to hit the brakes. I want I want to see some good space between the ball and the car. So okay. like this is this is falling it closely. This is falling it closely. Never do do that until it's here and then stop, and then drive into it. Okay. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. So it doesn't go flying. So let's say let's say I'm boosting. This is what it'll look like if I'm boosting. Watch how I get this space. See that? Yeah. See how there's space gathered? Okay. <clears throat> you think you can do that? Um yeah. You don't have to think too hard, but there you go. Yeah, roll it towards that's fine. That's a good enough angle. You're behind it, you're behind it. Yeah, perfect. And then go. Love it. Okay, that's not oh, bad. Oh my god, it doesn't feel that hard. I'm scared. I love this. It's so fun to hear her enthusiasm for this. And you can tell she's trying really hard and listening to the advice. I want to see one more time just like that. This time, just uh, I want you to set it up towards the wall like you just did. Except for I want you to when you when you hit the bottom of the wall, like where it starts to curve with your car, mm -hmm. I just want you to start boosting a little bit towards the, the a little ball. bit after you give it the space. Yes. More space. Maybe forgot the more space. space. See that? Yep. I know it seems like a lot, but once you get the feel for it, it'll you won't even have to won't have to think about this part. I just want to really nail this first. Good boost. 
good. Not bad. Something like that. See how it's popping off away from the wall? Yes. Good. Okay. And, and here, here's a visual cue for you. Um, you don't want to start, you don't want to hit, make contact with the ball until the ball is past the curve of the wall, of the bottom of the wall. Does that okay. make sense? Yeah. So like let like, the ball roll past that curve and then yeah, perfect timing. Absolutely stunning timing. Wonderful. One more time like that. I hope you guys are enjoying this type of video so far. It's mostly just her and I going back and forth and correcting as we go. And it's pretty laid back. This is kind of how the sessions go. Yep. Perfect. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Okay, you're good. You can move on. Okay, step three. This is probably the hardest mechanically because the rest of it's just lining it up. You'll notice step three comes only after you've hit the ball off the wall. You will not jump at the ball until it's off the wall. So this is com the complete step two. Step two done. Step three okay. begins when you jump. Essentially what you wanna do is hit the ball off the wall by coming in underneath it like I'm about to do. Okay. And once it's going up in the air, then you can jump. If you notice, I jump pretty late there. Watch how late I jump after the I hit the ball off the wall. See that? Pretty late. Yeah. Like I don't I don't jump immediately with it. So what <laughs> what it, what it will look like for you as we just get this first part down is this. You're just gonna drive, and I just want to see this. You're gonna hit the ball with ball cam on, and then you're gonna jump. You don't have to do anything after. I just want to see something like that. So good. Uh, a little bit after. Remember, Too there's early. a little bit of pause. Yep, yep. That was actually pretty good. It was close. It was close. The setup was perfect, by the way. Love, love the setup. Great angle. Yep. So you see how you're above the ball? Yeah. We we don't want that for the air dribble. This is a lot of thinking. I know, I know. It's already been 10 minutes, but I promise you'll be air dribbling by like no later than the 30 it's mark. You like 10 minutes. <laughs> perfect setup. Good. good basic here. A little bit more boot. Okay, okay. I see what you're doing. You're getting a little looking good though, honestly. That wasn't too bad. See how it's almost intuitive? Like it, you just, your ball in the car almost ends up behind the ball without you trying. Better, better, better for sure. I'm like afraid to hit it. I don't know why. Don't be afraid, don't be afraid. This is actually funny because most players are way on the opposite side. They want to slam it. So this is, this is good. We can work, this is easier to work with than people who are like too quick with it. I love this. Yes, 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 yes. So good. You're, already, you're nailing one step one and two. As far as I'm concerned, you've done it like six times in a row. You've mastered it. Uh, okay. Yeah. See how you're like. This is it? good position. Oh, I gotta yeah. hit the ball. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You're, you're, you're gonna figure this out quicker than I thought. Okay. Go ahead and uh, you're, you're Matt. You're ready to move on. Step three is just that little air roll you're doing. I, I need to see this, this position. You see how um, I'm number one below the ball in space. Mm -hmm. Um, and then number two, you saw the nose of my car is pointed slightly upwards and towards the bottom of the ball. If you were to paint a line, my nose is right to that part of the ball. Oh, you're like, okay, I see, yeah, I see. If I position my car in the way where it's underneath the ball and up at it, now I can start to push it into the air or keep it up. See how it's saying up longer? That's the, yeah. the dribble part of it. That's the air dribbling part. That, that gives you multiple touches. Because if I, let's say I'm going for an air dribbling game and I do this, it's going to be hard for me to get another touch. See how I'm chasing it down now? Yeah, that's what I, that's kind of what I do. Hope and pray and chase. Yeah, that's what lower <laughs> ranks do. It, it's not a strong air dribble, but look, look at this. This is like a high rated air dribble. This is me getting underneath the ball and like carrying it towards the center of the field. Ah, that looks start... like impossible. No, no, no. I, I promise this is why we're breaking it down. And then you're gonna pop it off the wall, wait, jump, and then you're gonna position, position like this. That's all I wanna see. I spent the next five minutes talking about using air roll after jumping off of the wall. Unfortunately, there are no secrets or tips to this. It really just comes down to muscle memory and your mechanical ability. When I felt Emmy understood the process of positioning the car in the air before the first touch, we moved on. This is the type of thing I want you to do in free play. Like you'll have, you can do this all day long. Cause once you get the air dribble, it's addicting. You, you don't wanna stop doing it. <laughs> and it's a it's a great it's a great tool to have in game obviously. I, I literally want to hit the boost right after and I don't know how to give it that pause. Yeah. It's yeah. like a like a trigger finger. This is a perfect angle by the way. This is wonderful. Boost. A little bit earlier, a little bit earlier on the boost. You okay. need to you need to start generating more car speed. I think that's the, the biggest issue you're having. <laughs> I just and don't want to hit it too hard. <laughs> you're fine. You're allowed to. Honestly, in game, it's better off if you do anyways. Because if you don't follow up the air dribble, at least the ball is moving towards the net. 
You can start boosting. I want. You need to start boosting before you get to the wall. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Much better. See how that? See how it's flying towards the net? No way it's gonna go in the net. Oh, thank God. You, you okay. barely had to do anything, but imagine if you were behind it with an air dribble, then you get it, then you get one or two extra pops, and all of a sudden it's in their net, and a, a platinum player is gonna be crying when they see that. <laughs> diamond players are gonna cry. They're like, "What is this diamond doing?" Nice. See, that's that's better. See how you boost a little bit earlier. See how it's popping out towards the center. Gives you mm -hmm. a lot more time. You need you need as much time as you can as you can get um, with the ball floating in the air. Okay. Yeah. Now you got the air dribble. Yeah, you got it. Right there. That was, that was good step three uh, positioning. Nice, yes, very good. See how you're kind of positioned below it? You see that? Oh, the arrows, yeah. You're pretty close. That was that was actually your best attempt yet, I think. That had a lot of potential. I think high-ranked players were like, their instincts kicked in. They just wanted to go for the ball. She's getting very close to getting the air dribble now. I, I think she's locked in on the key steps required, and it's so cool to see. Yeah, you're like five minutes away from your first multi-touch multi, multi -touch air dribble. Like, like right here, you won't do any turning. Yep. Okay, okay. No, oh my God, <laughs> I hit the ball so bad. You're close, you're close. I like can feel it and it's driving me crazy because it's doesn't not that hard. The fact that I got this far in like half an hour, roughly. Yeah, that's big. For someone, by the like, we all saw your aerials. Like you couldn't even fly towards a, a stationary ball. So to see you almost air dribbling right now is like, this is crazy. I think you've pretty much, on in my opinion, like you've pretty much got this. It's just gonna take a little bit more time until you like grasp it fully. But, like that right there looks so good. Yeah, and then just. Just start boosting. Yeah, there you go. First mini air dribble, kind of. At 27 minutes. It was a, it was a one touch 10. air dribble. Not bad, honestly. Hmm. It could have been, it, like, in 20, 27 minutes, like, to have that, that's a lot of progress. We then loaded into another private match, and I kept reiterating a few of the points before Emmy put in a few more tries. She's nearly got it. It's exciting, though. I, I knew you could do this. Yeah, I, I knew. Uh, I did not. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. Stop, 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 stop. No! Good. So good. You're so close. Oh my God. You're so close. That felt weird. It's because when you do it right, you set it up right, it's almost too easy. I'm, I'm telling you. It's like natural. Okay, drive at it. Hit that part of the ball. Do it. Yes. <laughs> no. Close. No, that Not doesn't bad. count. That doesn't count. So <laughs> you're there. That was literally like almost perfect. See how your car momentum didn't even start going down? That was really good really oh good there's no way this is me you have no idea how close that could be to just being like a, a very high level air dribble that was that was extremely good to see i can't i'm honestly a little bit surprised to see that there's no way this is me no way the consistency is definitely getting there most of her attempts now are perfect setups and she's only really missing the final part of the air dribble then a few minutes of attempts later this happened Yeah, oh, here we go. Oh my here god, we go. oh my god, Keep going. oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, I hit it three times. <laughs> what? I told you, it just happens when you get it. That was, that was perfect. <laughs> what? Look at that. Hey, no you actually way. Got, you got scared, you had 63 boosts. If you no, had just no, boosted, <laughs> you would have been, you would have had a seven touch. It would have been like a freaking champ three level air triple. <laughs> Holy shit, okay. And at 47 minutes, Emmy had a three-touch air dribble that honestly could have been an insane goal if she simply boosted and trusted that she had it. Still, I'll call that a massive success, and I think we're long overdue for an aerial skill level up. I highly encourage anyone who's struggling to get a basic air dribble to re-watch this video as many times as you need. All of the secrets are in here. As for the next episode, we are going to take on a training regimen that will take her all the way from Diamond 1 to Champ 1. Her training is about to become intense, and I hope you're here for it, because Emmy is. Also, Emmy streams live on Twitch pretty much every day, and if you want to see her progress live, here's her link, it's in the description. Follow her, check it out, and you can see everything happening in real time.